with Next Level Guitar. How you doing? Check this out. Uh, part of our Inspired series, uh, there are uh, a lot of American rock and roll. Enough said. Awesomeness. It's good stuff. Borrow from the Brits. The Brits borrow from us. It's like a tag thing. Well, well a lot of things that, um, a lot of these new cats, uh, being one guitar inspired type stuff, uh, build a pretty big, huge sound with uh, using power chords and uh, pentatonics, the whole thing with this is uh, shows you a whole lot of power and how to not just pound through like some power chords, but to actually add something that, that moves. This, this is metal. Hey, before I forget, uh, if you want a free video lesson and a free ebook, uh, click on this box right here and we at Next Level Guitar will send you all the, all the above and you can get down at whatever time you like. And this is all, like I said, for free. Just click on the, the box right there. Just click on it, right? Uh, here's the first part of the riff. It's an e, open E5. Now that's uh, F sharp five. And then we're going to G, G5. G5, F sharp five. It's open E5. F sharp five, G five, F sharp five, and then it's also uh, F five. Together, uh, it's it's uh, it's very percussive. I'm palm muting as well, but I'm, the first part is not. So. Uh, so. Sliding this power chord to the uh, the third position here. Back to the second. Here's the next chord for the part of the song. Uh, starting from my first finger here on the F sharp right here. And then uh, my third finger is going to be on the second string, but it's on the fourth fret. My fourth finger is on the fourth fret, but it's on the D string. Now check this out. This one's tucked away on the third fret of the G string. That's my second finger. And the last two parts is an open B and E. It's like an F sharp bar chord, but I'm not pressing down. Now, the next part is was really simple. It's just based out of B pentatonic right here. It'd be this blue scale right here. Uh, the most hard part is the uh, pinched harmonic. If you've never done it before, you take your pick and you just hold it how you normally would, but you kind of choke up, choke up on the pick. What I mean, just enough to where a little bit of your flesh on the side of your thumb is right there. And when you... When the flesh hits it, it actually pitches the note up into that harmonic. If you've never done it, it does take a minute to do it. You'll find it here. If you're, if you're hearing that, you're probably because your pick is, is going flat against the string, as opposed to at an angle. Okay, starting on the seventh fret of the E string. And then the uh, ninth fret of the A string. And then coming back to the seventh fret, but this time we're on the D string. And then the harmonic note, which is uh, on the, uh, the D string, but it's on the ninth fret. And you use your vibrato too. And then the last part is just. Just descending down the lick. They're descending down, down, down the scale. And then. Uh, 
The whole thing with this is like, is, is you you are the rhythm machine, and what I mean by that, like lock with metronome, seriously lock, and 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 really work with with timing on this. It's not necessarily a super fast type thing, but it's more of a power groove, you know, where where you're you're having to to blast uh, through this rhythm, and and you'll notice that is working really great when. <laughs> Everybody in the room has their head kind of moving. It looks like you're kind of like on a car with no suspension. And you're like doing like, you look over and you're like, what's, what's going on? And we're all doing this at the same time. Because the groove's there. That's what you want to do. The groove's there. Just groove. Also experiment every key that you'd like. You know, some guys, I know a lot of guys that like to tune way down or whatnot. Hey, go for it. Till next time, it's been Will Billy, Two Fist McGee with NestLevelGuitar.com. Check it out. Almost 1,100 videos up and running. If you're a beginner, we got you covered. If you're an intermediate guy looking to kind of expand your stuff, got you covered. If you're advanced and you're really looking to expand your palette as far as different things, we got you covered. Bottom line is, nextlevelguitar.com has you covered. Hit us up. Till next time, see ya.